Hi everyone, welcome back to Happy English. My name is Teacher Byron, and today we have two special friends, Tiny Teddy and Little Ducky. Tiny Teddy, say hello everyone. Hello everyone. So, Tiny Teddy, what should we read about today for story time? That's a great idea. Tiny Teddy says that we should read about showing off. This is something that applies to children, adults, teenagers, old people. Everyone sometimes has a slight tendency to want to show off. So today we can learn how to manage showing off so that we don't overdo it, but also, but also allows us to do it sometimes. Okay, let's get straight into it. This book is Showing Off. This book is about Tony and her friends, Annie and Sam. Reading about Tony and her friends can help us understand and deal with showing off. So let's find out how do we deal with showing off? Have you ever been with people who try to make you think that they are better than you? Like him, he says, I bet you can't do this. I'll bet she's right. Hmm. So this is called showing off. When you're trying to show that you are better than someone else at doing something. People are showing off when they do things to make you think that they are better than you are. So he, she's saying, see what I can do? I'm better than you are. So here she's showing off that she can balance on a very narrow plank. When you are with someone who is showing off, how do you feel? What do you think? What do you do? Here she's worried. She says, she does everything better. I can't do what she can and I wouldn't even try. Another bunny is thinking, I wonder how well she can hop. This is interesting because people usually show off to show something that they are good at, but they never show off something that they are not good at. So when someone is showing off, they are usually just showing their good side. When you are with someone who is showing off, you might feel unimportant. You might feel as if you cannot do anything well. You might decide that you don't want to be with a person who makes you feel bad about yourself. So that's very interesting. People that show off make us feel less important and maybe we don't want to spend time with people like that. Here she's saying, do you want to play on the jungle gym with me? Uh, no thanks. Are you kidding? So she doesn't want to play with her anymore because she's always showing off and making her feel less important. It is important to treat others the way you want to be treated. If you don't want others to show off, you must not show off too. So this is a very important point that applies to life from when we are young up until we die. We should always treat others the way we wish to be treated. So here she's saying, hey Sam, this is fun. And she's saying, yeah, we're both pretty good at this. So she's not showing off. She's not saying that she's good. She's saying they're both good. And now the bunny is saying, just be careful. Don't hurt yourself. There are many ways to show off. Some people show off by saying that they are better than others. This is called bragging. So this type of showing off is just by speaking and saying things. And this is called bragging. Here, this girl is saying, I can ride a bike better than anyone else. And then the bunny is saying, you've never seen me ride. How can you say that? So this is called bragging when she's saying that she's better than other people. Some people show off by acting as if they are better than others. So here she's not just saying, but she's also acting it out. And here she's saying, 
out of my way and she's acting to show that she can ride the bike better some people show off by bossing others around so don't be like that don't boss other people around so here she's saying hey you guys get back here I'll show you what else I can do but they're not interested they want to walk away but she's being bossy and she wants to boss other people around there are many things people try to prove by showing off some people show off to try to prove they are more important than others these people do not understand that no one person is more important than anyone else we are each important in our own way because everyone is different some people are good at reading some are bad at reading but are good at running some are bad at running but are good at swimming and everyone is different and that makes us all special and unique in our own important way here she's saying my dad is important he's a doctor but she's saying my dad is important too he's a baker the baker may not be a doctor but the doctor cannot bake cakes either like the baker can so the doctor can help sick people but the baker is also important because he can bake cakes that is delicious for others to eat and the bunny says my dad delivers eggs on Easter which is also an important job so every person every person is important in their own way some people show off to try to prove they can do things better than others these people do not understand that no one person can be the best at doing everything some people are good at doing some things other people are good at doing other things every person can do something well so here she's saying I can ride a bike better than you and she's saying that doesn't make you a better person and she's saying all of us can do something well and even the rabbit says I can hop so maybe she can ride a bike better than everyone else but maybe she can write a story more beautifully and maybe she can play table tennis better than the other two so we are all good at our own unique things and no one is the best at everything okay here some people show off to prove they are smarter than others these people do not understand that no one person can be smarter than everyone else some of us know some things others know other things we are each smart in our own way that's very important to remember so she's saying I know more about bikes than you do and she's saying that doesn't mean you are better than we are and she's saying there are things we know about that you probably don't know and the bunny says I like Easter eggs so just because she knows more about bikes doesn't mean that she knows more than she does about insects but maybe she knows more about English or science than these two so we are all smart at what we are good at at our special hobby and interest but that doesn't mean that we are better than anyone else okay this is very good here it says some people show off to try to prove they have more than others these people do not understand that having things does not make a person important people are important because of what they are not because of what they have so this is very important to to learn this person says my bike is better than yours and she says that does not mean you are better than we are the bunny says looks like an ordinary bike to me so just because you have more doesn't mean that you are better because it's not about what we have it's about who we are if we are kind happy and friendly that means more than having three bikes and five skateboards and many many toys it's better to be important on the inside than to have things on the outside okay 
Some people show off to try to prove they are more popular than others. Being popular means being well known. These people do not understand that people can be well known for the wrong reasons. Some people are well known because they do bad things. It is important to be a person who does good things than it is to be a person who is well known but doing bad things. So she's saying, I'm very popular in this neighborhood, everyone knows me. But she's saying, everyone knows you because you are always bragging and showing off. And she's saying, just because everyone knows you doesn't mean you are well liked. So just because people know you doesn't mean that they like you. And it doesn't make you a good person either. So here it's saying that it's more important to be someone that does good things than to be someone that is well known. You will be happiest when you treat others the way you want to be treated. And this means you will not show off because you do not like it when others show off. So she's always showing off and bragging, but she has no friends because no one likes people that are always talking about themselves. On the other hand, these two people are happy treating others the way they want to be treated. And they are very kind and happy, good people. So they have more friends than she does. Okay, so I hope you like this story on showing off. This story teaches us to not always show off and try to make ourselves feel more important and make others feel that we are better than them. And that it is more important to be a good person and to be kind and happy on the inside than it is to have many things on the outside and not be a good person. So, I hope you like this story in, uh, in company with myself, Tiny Teddy and Little Ducky. If you like this story on Showing Off, please like and subscribe and we will look forward to seeing you again on the next Storytime video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye.